coffee. Do you even know what a civet is? Well, first off, it is a mammal. Sort of a cat-like creature. It has a longer nose, and it spends a lot of time up in trees. And for those of you who enjoy exotic things in life, it helps to make coffee. I'm with Dustin Butler, who owns Bantai Civet Coffee. Good morning, and thanks for being here. Hey, good morning, Jose. Good to be here. Well, okay, now, I want to find out, first off, What's the price of this coffee? Because it seems to be black gold, so to speak. Oh, yes. Well, it is pricey coffee, and you can get it at bearings at $320 a pound. Whoa! Yeah, but they do have more affordable options, like our gift bags here in smaller size for about $85. And also the dual gift bag, which I think is $45, and this is at $65, the 12-ounce bag blend. And... Um, also at Rayo's Bakery in North Houston, they also serve it by the cup, where you can get it about, I think, eight to ten dollars a cup. Oh my gosh! Now, civet. How does that civet cat play a role in the production of this coffee? Well, there are farmers primarily. They have an extreme acute ability to sense out the ripest and sweetest of all the coffee berries. And so you get the ultimate quality control from them. And they leave behind on the jungle floor in return all the best beans. So they are you know, pretty much giving you the prime quality beans and selecting it that no human or no machine could mock that process. So it really is the gold standard of coffee. Okay, so what he's really saying is that the civet cats ingest the beans, it goes through their entire system, then comes out one of the <laughs> orifices, and then Southbound. it's harvested by the farmers. Now, you learned about the civet cats while you were in the Philippines working with the Peace Corps. Uh, yes, sir. I was a Peace Corps volunteer in the northern Philippines working in the tribal community of Ifugao province, and this animal was actually seen as a pest to the farmers. And until we could research and find uh, and really show these farmers the value behind the coffee that these animals are leaving behind, which ultimately got them on board to start conserving the animal and set up a whole preservation area for this animal to produce this coffee. And now they're earning a great living off uh, really keeping an animal around that they once viewed as a pest. Mm, that is amazing. <laughs> okay, so how does it taste in relationship to other coffees? I asked you about espresso. Oh, yeah, well, much better than any coffee, and let's give it a shot, huh? Uh, I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try. So, so you put it in a press, the, the yeah, ground? Yeah, French press is really, I think, the best way you can serve this kind of coffee. It is the gold standard of coffee, so might as well brew it the best way possible to really enjoy the taste. Okay, Sabila! Hey. 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 <laughs> you got company yeah. over there, oh, oh, yeah. cups. Um, cups. Oh, I'll it, get another, we can get another nice. cup, can't we? Oh, come on it now. With a, nice. With what is, how much is it a pound? Like, 300 want, bucks? $320. I think we can afford one pound. more cup. Oh, I yeah. Let's afford. get another cup I'm going in here. Oh. <laughs> come on. Here, here we, we go. go. Here's now, Ruben. Ruben, Ruben, Ruben to the rest. Nice. Yes. We're, we're, All right. right. Let me go ahead some of this stuff. Thank you, Ruben. You don't want some? Yeah, but it's smooth almost like a tea. It really doesn't need a lot of cream or sugar. It goes down really easy. A lot of tea drinkers like it because it's really easy going on the palate and you really don't have to worry now, about loading it up with cream or sugar Explain to me again how the process, I mean, you find this stuff on you the really jungle want to go floor. This again? <laughs> is there some sort of a cleaning process, oh, of filtering of course, that occurs? The civet cat it is, and then, Well, you that know. we know. Well, but. much like how eggs come from funny places, too, and, uh, oh, yeah, never think thought about, about that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we deshell it. There. Oh, sure. And, uh, we deshell it the same way you deshell an egg. We That's remove the shell. It That's is. Very nice. Not bad at all. And this is expensive? Like Very expensive. So how much Very. per sip? It gets my seal uh, of per approval. Per sip, uh, that's going to be $5 each, please. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a buck it, a sip. It, yeah, well, actually, I think at Rango's nice. up in uh, North Texas, they, ser they serve it about $10 a cup. But at Bearings, they serve it retail by the bag, and you can find it doing free samplings this Saturday at Westheimer at 11 to 3, uh, okay. and then on Bis at 11 to 3 on Sunday. So if y'all want a free taste of this, come on out and uh, maybe some of our friends from here will swing out there too <laughs> for another free to taste, huh? Dustin Butler, <laughs> thank you so very much. Hey, uh, thanks I a lot, say, you guys. A first on Fox. Hey, pinkies up, everybody. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. That's thank right. you so very much. Hey, thank you, it. everybody. <laughs> Thanks Best again. of luck here. Bontai right. Civic Coffee. So the FBI needs the services of the dog whisperer. We will.